Hey everybody, it's Val. Um, so, I'm doing this video really late because I completely forgot <laughs> that, uh, that I needed to do a video for you guys for Thursday uh, because the adapter on my laptop uh, is not really working and so my battery was dying and I didn't think I was going to be able to upload anything and miracle of miracles, the adapter worked for for a minute, so I managed to um, recharge my laptop. But so, either way, do the video now. Um, again, I'm leaving. I'm actually taking off tomorrow morning, so I'm kind of doing this in the middle of packing and getting ready for that, so I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. Um, so, the question was about um, children and uh, approaching the occult and non-Christian beliefs, essentially, with with children, and about when I think it's appropriate. Um, this is something I've thought about, simply because I do intend on having at least a child later on in my life, and um, in all likelihood I'm not going to be uh, marrying someone of the same faith. So, uh, the, the difficulty with that is that I think, I think it's important for children to be exposed to everything. And so because of that, um, when I do have a child, they will be exposed to, um, old, um, mythologies and, and stories. Um, I'll, I'll be the unusual mother that, um, reads epics to her children, uh, when they're like two years old, um, as bedtime stories, but I'm more inclined to, to read the poetic Eddas, um, to a child rather than the regular fairy tales, simply because that's more something that I personally enjoy. Um, and I want my children to be highly educated. So, um, so yeah, so as far as when I'm gonna start, immediately. They'll, they'll always be exposed to the stories of our history. And I'm not gonna limit it to just Norse stories. It's also going to be, um, the Egyptian stories, Christian stories, um, Grecian, <laughs> just everything. Um, but that's also, that's my prerogative and, and that's something that I really like and I appreciate. So, that that's going to be like the first way I introduce them to things. As far as the occult side of things, um, I'll be practicing openly and if my children want to be present, um, when they're old enough to be respectful of a space, then absolutely they're welcome to enter the space. But uh, until they're until they're able to sit still and be calm, um, I probably won't be introducing them to anything. And as far as formally educating them, uh, I don't think that's going to happen until much later on, uh, when they're old enough to make the decision that it's something that they want to find out more about. And even then, I personally think it's important to encourage that they study it on their own, simply because I think it was highly important to me to discover what I wanted on my own rather than being taught by another, but still, I'll be a good resource for my children to learn from. And even then, if they decide that they don't want to go on the same path as me, that's perfectly fine. I have no issue with my child um, being a Christian, or being Jewish, or a Muslim, or whatever faith that they choose. So, so that's kind of what I have to say on it. Um, again, just the ancient myths. I think that that's very important. And also just cultivating children in general, rather than trying to subdue anything that they're showing. I'll, I'll, 
being an accepting parent is probably the most important thing you can do. Um, so yeah, so I hope that answers your question. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I have for you right now. I'm sorry, I gotta get going. Um, but I hope you guys have a good couple of weeks while I'm gone and I'll be posting soon. So, <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys later. Blessings.